reasons is through experience. I have a long time of experience with this. And then another way is I asked God for confirmation and I did receive confirmation as well, which is what, another reason why I'm putting this word out a little bit later on in the day today, because I did have this dream last night when it was a powerful dream. So I knew For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates, even dividing into soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Hebrews 4.12 Hello, Light Warrior. It's Bella Bashan here. I just want to start this off with a prayer and just thank the Holy Spirit for joining me in on this word. I just pray that the Holy Spirit would bless everyone who's joining me here today um, with wisdom, encouragement, and protection. That the Holy Spirit would help lead this word in Jesus' name and also touch the lives of whoever is watching this. Amen. So today's word is actually based on a dream that I had, a prophetic dream that I had last night. Some of you might be asking, well, how do you know that it's not just some random dream? How do you know that it's prophetic? And one of the reasons is through experience. I have a long time of experience with this. And then another way is I asked God for confirmation and I did receive confirmation as well, which is what, another reason why I'm putting this word out a little bit later on in the day today, because I did have this dream last night when it was a powerful dream. So I knew upon waking that it was prophetic, but I just wanted to wait and get the confirmation just to be sure. But, um, Early this afternoon, the confirmation that I received um, was through a news headline coming down. But basically, the dream that I had last night is that you are, you're going to be, somebody's going to be a big personality and a big star. Like your, your personality, you're a personality or a big star. So the way this word got confirmed is I saw... My phone knows that I like astronomy, and so the I, I saw a headline about a huge, a massive star. It was it's actually um, it was a mass. It was they were calling it an extraordinary star, and it was like thirteen point three billion light years away. One of the oldest stars there is, which is another part of this word is that this star it like gathered other stars and it turned into a superstar over time so this word is i feel like this word is for somebody who you feel like it's a little late in the game for you you feel like you've been waiting a long time but the holy spirit is saying that as you've waited your star it's been gathering more stars to it. it's become bigger bigger and bigger so bright that it can be seen from billions of light years away. And so um, this born, and it said it was born in dense conditions, which actually I wanted to look up what dense meant for us. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna look that right up. Okay, so it said this, so it said your star, you were born in dense condition or this, the way this word was confirmed was through this this um this extraordinary star was born in dense conditions and it took a long time to gather up all these stars so the meaning of dense it says closely compacted in substance interesting it says swirling in dense smoke which there's been a lot of smoke activity and i actually just put out a word about divine um divine help from a smoke encounter but it also says thick and heavy so you might have grown up in really thick and heavy circumstances your childhood could have been thick and heavy but what the holy spirit is saying is it's left you with a distinct and unique traits that have made you into this massive huge massive superstar 